what we would like to do now is add the shock absorbers to our existing suspension system. Now, just like we saw before, the suspension system works by basically putting pressure on the bottom chain. But when an object strikes this, or when the tank hits an object, this will naturally move up and create tension on the top of the chain. All just to be sure that the chain doesn't fall off. So what we have are our two uh, shock absorbers. And these are going to come in handy because they're going to push these barrels down to the position that they're in now. So enough talking, uh, let's, let's get into this design. So what we want to do is we want to just create an arm that attaches from this part. Let me open it. I'm going to come down, find the part, open up the rotator spindle. And from here, what we're going to do is I'm going to start a sketch on the XY plane. That's halfway between the barrel. And from here, what we're going to do is start a sketch. And the sketch is going to look something like two lines. Now I can always come to my sketch, right click, and do slice sketch. And now I'm looking at the cross section, which is going to be very helpful. I'm going to make this tangent. Same thing with, with this one here. Line tangent. And so we want to also connect our point, our circle. So we now have two lines, and the point must be connected. And from here, what we can do is we can add a center line. It's going to come from the center of the circle out. And this is going to be construction. And I'm going to create an arc, three-point arc, and I'm going to connect these two lines. I'm going to make this tangent here, and I'm going to make this tangent as well on the right. I'm going to move this into position, and I want to set a dimension here for this line. And I'm going to make this for right now 1.5, one and a half inches. And so we don't exactly know what, what we want our dimensions to be just yet. Um, but what I can do is I can just kind of enlarge in this and I can even create a parallel constraint between these two lines. And from here, I'm going to add a circle. So we now have uh, two closed shapes. I'm gonna hit finish sketch. And I'm going to create an extrusion. And this extrusion is going to be 0.254 because that's how thick the, um, the, the bottom um, fitting of the shock absorber is. So this is going to be 0.254, but it's going to be symmetric. You can see here, so it's going to be symmetric and it's going to be whole length. Um, but we're going to have to add a little bit more, actually. I'm going to edit this, and I'm, I'm going to make it, instead of 254, I'm going to add, uh, let's say, an eighth inch for now, or maybe a quarter inch. Maybe that's, a, that's what we really want. And from here, because of the fact that we made that circle, I could just show the sketch, so you can see that sketch come up. Now I'm going to hit Extrude. I'm going to click on this circle. And this is going to be a cut which is symmetric, and it's going to be whole length dimension. I'm going to make this 0.254. All right. So there we have it. You can see. And one thing that I might want to add to this, I'm just going to edit the feature. Um, this is 0.254. And if I come back to my assembly, I'm going to show you where that comes from. Basically, the distance between this face on this fitting and then this back face is 0.254. Um, I want to take a dimension now of this circle. That circle, it has a diameter of 118. 
that's going to be very helpful for me. So I'm going to come back to the sketch 10 and I'm going to recheck that, make sure. So this is in fact, just want to make sure, 118, yeah, 118. So that's going to be 118 in diameter. So I'm going to make my hole also, just for right now, I'm going to make it, uh, let's say 118, why not? We're just kind of uh, doing some testing here. So now I'm going to do extrude. I'm going to select that circle that I just created. And this is going to be uh, symmetric and it's going to be all and it's going to be a cut. So that, that's what we want right there. And let's go back. Let's save this first. Remember. That way it's going to update. So that, that's kind of what we created. Um, it, it's really a very simple uh, thing. Okay, great. So now let's update. And now that we've updated, we have our piece, which is sticking out. Now it's much too large. You can already tell that um, this, this could not work in real life just because of its, its enormous uh, thickness. So we're going to have to either change the thickness or make sure that our part is directly centered. I'm going to edit my sketch. And as you can see, there really is nothing stopping it from not being centered. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on these two lines. And I'm going to project them. And I'm also going to make these construction. And now I'm going to set a dimension between these two lines, these projected lines. From our original extrusion and this is just 85 degrees so I'm going to set a dimension between this line and this line and this is going to be 85 and I'm just going to hit divided by 2 it's going to automatically place it right in the center and so from here I can finish my sketch and we can also uh, choose to make this a little bit smaller so right now um, our circle, if I set a dimension here on the circle, it's 0.6. Now our lines are parallel, so we can't make any changes unless we get rid of that constraint. I'm going to click on parallel constraint and just delete it. And now I can change this dimension. So I'm going to make this a um, little bit smaller, 0.58. And hopefully that will fit between our cylinders better. Um, it's very tight, which is not OK. Um, it needs to be loosened up. But we need to uh, change that dimension once more. And instead of, I'm just going to make this a half inch. And when we go back, we're going to update once more. I believe I didn't update, update last time. Um, it's okay. We're we're just kind of working through different scenarios that we're going to see. And so I want to show you what it looks like inside. We're going to do section analysis. And I'm just going to drag this in. And so we can see our two cylinders here. And we can see our piece that's fitting in. So um, you can see that this is a little bit off. Um, the spindle is not perfectly. Uh, centered no actually 
sorry, the spindle is perfectly centered. It's just that because of the fact we're cutting the thread, it looks like it isn't because the thread is being cut. Okay, we need to cut in a little bit more. All right, that, that looks a little bit better. That looks a little more realistic. So uh, we can see our two pieces here. And we can also see the cut-in that we've made. And so within this sort of estimate type thing that we're doing, um, we want to find the perfect place for our shock absorbers as well as for our connection to the shock absorber.